What's up, fish vibes, people? Donald Fish vibes here again. These for the cichlids. Rainfall. Crawl out. Let's see what those guys do. Earthworms. Guys, it's about three months now since I set up this shrimp tank. Um, yeah, about probably three, four days to three months, or three, four days after three months. And um, let's take a look. I'm actually just chilling. It's a Sunday. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take a look. I'm always amazed with the shrimp. Let's take a look at the shrimp tank with all the lights on, and then we'll turn on the lights and check out what has changed. guys what you see in here is a shrimp in there in the active state with all the lights off sorry with the lights off in the tank you can see the glare from the flash there also all is out and about man let's check it out with the lights on Lights on. Guys, this tank has done awesome. Um, I would admit my intention was to have water changes like at least monthly. I've already passed my timeline for water change um, since I've set up this tank so it's, a, it's about three months as you all know it's about 12 first I started with 12 blue shrimp then I added five reds what's this guy what's going on here these guys are fighting man these guys are fighting for food clearly Yes, yeah, so it's about 17 shrimp and then I am um, everything else is reproduction they have really reproduced aggressively at that um, I did add the reds to try to get some more color guys are munching man these guys are munching away and, and these snails are always there to competing for food I would say eh, the snails make they 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 <laughs> those guys take control man those snails ensure that they get their piece so guys the other day I was actually counting to try to see how much shrimp I had in here of course, I wasn't trying to count how much snails I had in here. On my puffer fish is going to enjoy some snack. I could actually take up this dish here and snack a couple here, but it's okay. It's okay. I have some other tanks that the puffer fish get their supplies from of snails. But I was counting how much um, shrimp. Just a quick count on visually what I was able to see. At any one time and I got about 75 shrimp that's inclusive of the original stock of 17 and all the other babies etc and that's just what I could have seen out and about all right and as you know at the way how this setup is there's always a lot of place for the shrimp to hide so yeah, I believe there's about there's at least a hundred shrimp in here. It's really just a function of them growing out. So that you could see a lot of the bigger ones outside. But I mean the fact is if you look here you'll see a lot of big ones though. They are growing well. Now look at this rock. Um I mean this blue, these blues never seem to cease to amaze me, man. 
when these blues are out and about and colored up fired up those guys look really really nice whoa what's going on with you aggressive man you guys saw that you just lift up that guy and threw him at his side man damn Damn, these shrimp are aggressive, man. These shrimp don't play. These shrimp don't play. Now I see about whoa, whoa, whoa! He, he rushed that there. Now I see this rock here. If if you look at this rock, this rock is um, it has some algae on it, and you can see where the algae is being munched out. Now I would admit I don't um I don't try to overfeed the tank. So on average now on average I feed them about well there's a number of different food as I've shown you all in our earlier video. But I I threw like about six six of this circular type food and of course they munch it out it's a reasonable size ball size right trouble six and then there's another stick that I throw that um, dissolves breaks down pretty easily and when they start to interact with that, it spreads throughout the tank. So I throw one of those in particular, so that at least the younger shrimp, the babies all through the tank could get, can get some food. And then what I do, after throwing that food, sometimes I'll do that like once a day sometime-ish i would double up on the food in one day and there's other days when probably every two days i'll throw that that portion of food so there are some days where two days would go by and that's the amount of food they will get in total but you know something i i do that because i i don't believe in overfeeding so what you get now is they are munching away on the rock munching away at the algae I'm not doing enough light so I intend to leave the light on a, a, a little more too to get the algae to grow more aggressively and um, that will help build back up the algae stock but it tells me that I'm not overfeeding and that's the main thing I'm not overfeeding I call this the rock of Gibraltar <laughs> These guys love to come out here, especially the younger ones. There's not much young ones out here today. Um, they love that sliding kind of rock there. Saw so some young red ones here. This is a parent. The red, listen, these shrimp have some nice coloration. I must think so myself. Um, Blues are some nice blues. The red are some nice reds. These guys are spunky though. And it's the way how they, they move, man. They, they're so... <laughs> guys, let me tell you. These guys are very adventurous. Do they ever stop? You know, I've never really seen... A shrimp stop in one place for any lengthy period of time. They're always on the go. Their legs are always on the move. Um, I, I don't think I ever saw one standing still for any lengthy period of time though. This red is nice. This is another one here. And of course you can't ignore the blue ones. He's going in for the for his snack. So guys, yeah. Um, three months later, 
we have a healthy stock of, of shrimp. Um, I did say I would have tried to call. I must admit I haven't done any calling so far. I need to do a water change. <clears throat> what I'm what I'm gonna try to do is to do a water change where I could get down close to the substrate. Although you don't see a lot of um there's not a lot of um fill more or wasted because uh, in doing it I wanted to kind of suction out suction out um, any kind of degradation in the substrate but you don't see a lot eh? you don't see a lot of that there again because of the way how I feed them the food management I think that's critical so I'm gonna monitor it I'm not going to rush just to do a water change. I'm going to be observing the quality of water. But I'm going to put a hard stop um, the end of September here to at least do one, which is about, what's the day today? Today is about the 20th. So we have about 10 more days in September. So I'm going to do a water change closer to the end. And of course, it's not a lot of water change. Eh? It's not a lot of um, water that I'll be changing. Well, I'll try to get out some of the water. I'll do the f squeeze the filters in the existing water, get the filters out in. Well, I'll throw some of the water in a container, squash out the filter pads, and then top it up. Top it up with about a, a one liter. I do a one liter water change at max. It's as simple as that. None of the corridors came out today, which means they would have come out earlier. I, I threw that food there about, I would say, an hour ago, and I took a, a quick nap. Um, so I'm just coming in here now after the hour where all of them would have congregated to get their food. So that means most times the corridors would have already come out because as soon as the food gets in, they come out and get their own. They come in like real aggressive and they, <laughs> they munch out the food and get it all soft and break it down a bit. And then after the shrimp and snails are allowed to come in. Because trust me, when those corridors come in, they come in hard and fast. And they get theirs and then they go back into the rock system. So guys, that's it. I'm rambling on as usual, but trust me. These Shrimp Chronicles are very excitable. And until next time, this is Donald Fish Vibes. Over and out. Ciao.